Well, welcome to Friday Night Footy. It's uh, very exciting here at Anzac Park, and we're lucky enough to be joined by Super Coach Adrian Goodwin. Goody, it's uh, the big stage, Friday Night Footy. Uh, how are the boys shaping up for this big clash against Lauderdale? Um, yeah, the boys are really keen. Um, it's a great atmosphere around the club on a Friday night. There's lots of teams train and it's a, it's a good spectacle and a real good feel and the boys really enjoy the atmosphere and we've had a night game previously and, and the boys equipped themselves really well, so exciting times. Well, that's a good start to the year, four and zip. Um, I guess the only blemish last week was a little bit errant on the scoreboard. Uh, <laughs> what are we expecting tonight? Oh, look, we expect some really stiff... Um, pressure around the footy. Um, Lauderdale, they, we've, I've watched them a couple of times this year and, and you know they don't shirk an issue, don't shirk a contest. So it's going to be a really contested type of game and, and um, it's going to be a real challenge for us to get the ball to the side and get it out in the open and run. Um, yeah. yeah, fantastic. Of course, it has been a little bit different this season. How are your boys coping and how are you coping differently as a coach? Um, I don't think it matters too much as a coach. It's probably... It's probably just getting the rules, um, making sure everyone abides, abides by what they have to. But in terms of the kids, it was really hard to mm. hold them back be with a lot of phone calls, messages, when are we training, when are we getting into it. So the enthusiasm was great and to get the all clear to go was, was fantastic. So, yeah, I think it was. I think it's for their physical well-being, but moreover for their mental well-being as well, sort of being part of a community and being part of a team. I think it's fantastic that we're, we're back and actually playing. Oh, team sport's so vital. Um, you know, I mean, you build mateship, friendship, and not only with the boys, but also with the parent group as well. So, um, and, you know, they learn from each other, um, which is really exciting, and, and developing friendships. And the boys are now, what, 13 years of age, so puberty strikes, I guess, and things change a lot more. And there's, you'll notice a few girls around the boundary line, so tonight, watching a few of the boys. So, yeah, it's a, it, it's a good positive atmosphere, and, yeah, team sport's great. It is a positive atmosphere, and, of course, it's a fantastic facility here at Lindisfarne. Upstairs there's a few mum and dads maybe just having a little frothy or a chardonnay just to unwind before the weekend. We're looking forward to a cracker match and we're going to go now live to the commentary position. Thanks very much uh, Coach Goodwin. Thank you. Like he's just going to snag one straight out of the middle, I reckon. Yeah, no, he's he's good intent on the on the fella. One of those sort of fellas when you line up and you look alongside who you got against and you're sort of a bit concerned as the big fella there has nice. put it through. <laughs> Gee, that's a good go. We're going to have a look at that again on the Mood Food replay. Just take me through this one, Adam, as we again, umpire says, it's not going to come out of there. So desperate defending there by the two Blues. They are hanging on here and do not want Lauderdale to score. You're not going to get that ball off Savage. He's, he's a tough ombre, that boy. Well, you're hearing it all. We've got uh, very fortunate to have all the insights as it comes out the back of the pack. That was Winch. Screws it around and ever the opportunist, the skipper, gets a captain's goal and Lauderdale are up and about. So we can see them. Good play by Winch. But just didn't have the distance, you'd think, from this uh, area should make it. It's just a matter of accuracy as Devine comes in. It's again right on the line, but the big fella where a big fella should be taking that mark and we'll go back and I tell you what, Adam, I think you could almost put your glasses down and hear from Big Joy Millwood, surely. Oh, you'd have to think so. You'd have to think that the Lauderdale Ruckman should be down there as well, trying to influence that uh, competition. Yep. Yeah, you're quite right. So there's... Um, We'll, we'll get back to that in a minute as Millwood is uh, having a shot on goal, taking his time. Hope he didn't put the mockers on the big fella. We certainly didn't, didn't, and he drilled that one straight through. Alan Devine coming back indoors. That can be dangerous when you start to come back through the corridor at centre-half back, especially if you turn the ball over as Miller did on that particular time. It's about a minute to go in the second quarter. We hope you're enjoying the coverage. It is the... Crips the master baker, baking bread in Tasmania since 1878. Uh, STJFL game of the round. The Lindisfarne v Lauderdale. And another ball up. If, uh, you want your longest studs on tonight, Adam? Oh, definitely. She is a bit greasy out there, but the boys are playing dry, dry weather football. It's been terrific. Yeah, it certainly has. And what I liked about it, when they get the ball, they're trying to lift their eyes and, and look for each other, as that is a good kick towards goal. I think it has gone through. 
rather nonchalant, if you don't mind, on the uh, wrong side of the body. Play, Adam, that was terrific. It's gone from one end to the other, and now they bring it back in towards the centre, towards uh, Watkins, who we've spoken about. Brilliant tackle there by the Lauderdale defender. Hats off and a free kick. That was a strong tackle, Adam. Let's throw this one aloft. He's got shades of his dear old dad there with that free-flowing sheep-type uh, locks on the top of his bonce. He's got a bit going on there. He has a bit. His dear old dad's got a little bit of a runway up the middle of his at the moment, just slightly uh, receding, but the big fella still looks as fit as a trout at 59-year-old, uh, my old friend Sheepy Croon. And now, of course, he works for ID Clothing, and don't they aren't they great sponsors of the league as well, uh, Adam? I know you look fantastic in that ID Clothing top you've got on tonight. Yeah, I didn't know that. Get, I didn't realise they'd get enough sequins to fit on my chest, but they've done a good job. They certainly have. If you need something done, uh, ID Clothing. If um, the defence a chance to recover, that was Bastion at the bottom there. Good work here by Lauderdale. Lindisfarne now picked that ball up. That was uh, Watkins. Out towards uh, centre half forward, and here is Brain, a very smart thinking footballer. Goes the short pass, spots one of his teammates up. Is and that Brody Speed? It might be Speed, I think you're right. Bit too far out, I reckon, here, Adam. Let's He's have a, a look. Beautiful kick. He is a good kick, but again, right to the 10 metre square. Big chance to screw it over as Lindisfarne. Oh. That's a very, very good kick for goal. Uh, was that Bastion, Bastion, I think? Yep. That was Bastion. Now you got the ball out to the bull and... Um, Jada Bull. Rule. Okay, Marriott. Been very effective. And here's the tall timber picking that one up in uh, Millwood. He uh, dropped a couple early, but he didn't let that one through his grasp. As we see here on the replay, look at the tenacity there by the big fella coming out. He's terrific, that boy. So, a shot on goal from Jai Millwood. Let's have a look at the kicking style. Very relaxed. Nonchalant, if you don't mind. And he has put it through. Very efficient. Good ball drop. And straight through the old high diddle diddle for his second goal down in front. That was Fry. Lauderdale. There's another one of those interesting haircuts with the very short sides and a little bit of extra out the back. The big fella is at the bottom. That was Miller. He hasn't had a bad game, Miller. He hasn't stopped trying. And there he is again with a very nice tackle. That was excellent tackle by Miller as we gave him a little bit of extra. Hands. Watkins, we know he's going to go after that ball. Here is going hard. It falls to the advantage of Lindisfarne if they can just get the handle on it, overrun it. You've got to really stay down low in the more slippery arc conditions. Evading one and speed spins that ball around the last line of defence. And Lord, oh, it's go. gone over. Here I am saying the last line of the fence. And Lindisfarne doing a good job to hold it in. And uh, that's what you want your forwards to do as well, don't you, Adam, is to not only be uh, running around to kick him, but to hold the ball inside your 50, give yourself a second opportunity to score a goal. Yeah, no, they've put good forward pressure on. They've been terrific. They've, uh, we might get one late one. But, J yeah, Jalen Devine's running it out of... Back line, he's kicked it long. Didn't he do a lovely job like a gazelle, uh, gaining oh. valuable metres? That's a strong tackle. Uh, it was savage by name and a savage tackle by the nature in which he went in there. That was terrific work by young Matthew uh, Savage. And Jalen Devine will take the recipient of that free kick. He's had a good quarter, Jalen. He, he has. The old selector's quarter, isn't it? Just when the coaches remember him uh, getting a couple of kicks. And now... He'll be exhausted with young uh, Ned Marriott. What's happened here? You can see him just kicking down towards the bigger options. He's got plenty of them down there. Lauderdale now. They're just going to try and get one more foray forward if they can. Well, looking for Meeking, but can't take it. Again, tremendous tackling held up there in play. That was a oh, strong mark. What are they? And that's a good way to finish the game, I reckon, with Fitzgerald taking a strong mark. What has been a high-calibre game as we check. Lindisfarne, 7-4, 46. Victors over Lauderdale, one goal straight six.